Good morning. Hope everyone's doing okay today. I am here to share with you. This is my first design team project that I did for Debbie and her stores over on Etsy and it is called Debbie's Special Touch. I'll put the link down below to her social media sites. Uh, she's She carries a variety of um, authentic paper, um, heartfelt creations, paper and stamps and whatnot. And I'll put the link down below to the, the unboxing video that I did where I shared what I received. Uh, this paper here is the Authentic Love Struck paper collection. And, um, you know, it comes with the double sided papers. And um, here's actually the pattern, so I'll take them all out. So, um, like I say, it, I use this. And also, if you order this from her store now, you will get an, a bonus uh, sticker sheet. So, uh, right now that is for $13, and like I say, you get the extra bonus sh uh, sticker sheet, which is pretty good. I mean, I had never myself used stickers on my mini albums, but I did this time around. I usually just use them on my planner um, and maybe cards, but more more so my planner. But I did want, want to put some on this album, and so uh, to start off I just painted this memory hardware pre-made chipboard, al chipboard album and I painted it I originally was going to use this antique white but then I remembered I had gotten this from deco art um, I'm in the deco art helping artist program and I had ordered this was one of the colors of paint I got and it's a pink chiffon and it's a very light pink I mean it barely has a little tint to it but I, I like the way it turned out I just did like maybe like a inch around the edges of the book that way um, you kind of cover up all the brown and so um, I'll start with the inside I usually do the cover last anyway so um, like I said I just papered paper the the book and then I started putting my mats in um, little pockets here and so right here I did this one I used a pink um, a cardstock to do the, my photo mat I used one a doily actually these doilies are these ones uh, that I got these at Joann's it's from Miss Sparkle and Company so that's I used I think a white one too but those are the ones I used I cut it in half that way I don't have to put the whole thing in waste the entire thing and then I had these little stickers um, that I added they're like little buttons I had them in my stash and um, like I say this one I really did add stickers to it and then here I just made a pocket here's just some of the tags that came I just rounded them with my corner rounder added a sticker there some uh, cotton white trim and then this was an embellishment I received last year, an altered paper clip. So thank you, Elizabeth, for that. It came in handy here. And then on this one here, I had received from Debbie on my design team package. I had received. Oh, sorry about that, my phone. I don't know what I did with my papers now. Give me one sec. I'm going to put them in the... Hmm. Well, I received this. Um, it's pretty much like vellum. It's like a little like a plastic. It's kind of thicker than vellum. But I went ahead and um, cut it and scored it here. That way it kind of covered my photo mat there. Just like a little f flap. And this one here too. I added a sticker. Some more stickers. These little rhinestone stickers are from this pack that she had sent me. And so um, she had sent me those as, as a gift. Um, but I did use them here. And just to give them a little bit of sparkle. Um, so much stuff here. Okay. 
And then right here, let's see, you see better with the light on. Even though I have, it's daylight out, it's morning, and my room's just kind of dark. Right here, I, I love doing these to the mini albums. That way you have like little secret area there for your pictures. And I did a sticker here, some trim here. You can see that. Let me zoom in. Maybe that'll work better. And then another rhinestone. On this side, I did a bigger uh, photo mat. This is four and a half by four. The smaller ones, these ones are two and a half, I believe, by three. They're the ones that you know you can use those uh, the selfies, like the sprocket, the HP sprocket. So you you know I did them different sizes. So like I say, I did that one there. I used that same uh, plastic. I don't know what it's called. I, I want to say it's like a vellum. But um, <clears throat> I added a couple stick, few stickers there, and then here I did another pocket, and I cut these out out of that other um, paper stack that I had. I keep turning it upside down, and I um, on the side here I used my my edge punch to do that, just a little more added uh, decor, and then I added. The stickers and then this chipboard piece, so this is a little bit thicker. You can see that. And I just added some twine that she had sent me as well. And I believe she does carry this in her shop, so it has like some glitter in it, so that's pretty nice. And then this one here, I like doing these too because um, on these albums you can't put too much photo mats, but you can make do with. You can figure stuff out uh, <laughs> how to add photo mats on these. And so this one, there's a couple photo mats right there. So there's that one. And it just ties with seam binding. <clears throat> I just wanted to do something um, that had enough room for photo mats for, you know, this year's Valentine's Day or whatnot. And then these are just some tags that came with it. And added a chipboard piece there. Just scored them and kind of what put them down like a waterfall. Here is another pocket. Here's a sticker. Um, and then some more tags from paper collections. And here's a sticker from the pack that came. Here's another one of those photo mats. I love this paper here. And there's another um rhinestone right there and then this is some more of those tags that like just did the same waterfall and here's a sticker from the pack more stickers um, and then here I did some more of those photo mats so this does have plenty of room more stickers plenty of room for pictures and then we've got these tags here I added some lace she had sent me, some more stickers, and then here I just did another photo mat. I didn't want to embellish too much, so I just added a few hearts there. A little chipboard piece says, I love you. And then just papered the back. I put these rosettes. She had sent me these ones, so I had some white ones. And I, I'm not sure if you can see the shimmer, but I did uh, spray with this. I love this stuff. And I sprayed the flowers as well. I don't know if you can tell. And then on the flowers, I also added some of these uh, little, I don't know what these are called, but like seed beads. And I also added some of the Prima Art Sugar. I did, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I did that and in pink as well, like a light pink. So I used those on some of the flowers, um, on the red and pink ones, I believe. Can't really see too much. Kind of toned down the pink color and the red as well. And, um, and then, like I say, I sprayed it. I added this little tiny uh, embellishment there, lips. These are some of those um, cyan and pearls uh, from Prima. 
And then this was one of my chipboard pieces from the other uh, paper line. But I did uh, dement, I put these up in a couple layers here. Um, just so it sits higher. And I actually did put a doily right here. So um, I really had fun with this project. I'm um, anxious to get started on, on my next one because the next one's going to be a tutorial. So I hope that you'll keep an eye out for that. And I hope that you'll go visit uh, Debbie's Etsy store. Again, it's Debbie's Special Touch. And I'll put the links down below. And she does have a coupon code for... I believe it's the Heartfelt Creations papers. Uh, I'll double check and I'll put that info down below also as well. And yeah, so um, I hope you guys are all started on your um, Valentine's Day uh, projects. And this is a lovely paper collection to add to, to yours. So um, thank you for watching my video today. And I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't. And please leave me a comment or questions if you have. And um, I'll be back with another project, uh, hopefully in the next um, within the next week. So I guess I will talk to you all later. Have a good day. Bye.